Hey everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm your host, Mark Fusco, and uh, it's a bit early today. This is what I'm doing for you guys. This is how, this is how I roll. 9.45 in the morning, I'm going to review some wine. It's because i got some stuff to do this afternoon. Didn't want to be late on an episode. So, um, <clears throat> thanks for stopping in, or thanks for coming by and checking things out. Uh, we've got today the Clear Bottle Bay. 2007 Pinot Grigio from California and just like all wines that just say California that means the grapes can come from anywhere now this is bottled by the Clear Bay Bottle Clear Bottle Bay Vine Wine Company Napa California so that's where they bottle it and they vent it there too they put it all together but they get the grapes from wherever wherever they got um, yet another world market uh, purchase. We'll be going out today to get some more wine. We're running out. Um, <clears throat> probably stop by world market. But uh, so Pinot Grigio, it's you know a nice little little grape here. So let's go ahead and uh, oh six I think six ninety eight six ninety eight at world market. Yeah. So let's check it out here. Bottle been open about two and a half hours, I guess. Yeah, as soon as I woke up, came downstairs, had breakfast, opened up a bottle of wine. Thinking about you guys. All right, so. So I'm getting just like I don't want to say pear, but that's what's coming to mind. Maybe a floral note here. No, it, it's it's kind of fruity. I mean, it's real basic. I'm not getting anything specific on, on the nose. Um, I see a combination between fruity and floral, maybe a little more floral, now that I think about it. But really nothing exciting on the nose. So, you know, we'll see. Let's check it out. Yeah, there's a little bit of bubble action there. Maybe it was apples I was smelling. All right, so, yeah, I'm getting that artificial green apple, like Jolly Rancher type thing with a little bit of bitterness. So think of like, Think of like getting a Jolly Rancher, one of those green apple Jolly Ranchers, and put some lemon juice on it. That's what I'm kind of, I'm getting kind of that, kind of that little sweet and sour, uh, sweet and sour play. It, it's interesting. Um, I don't know. but there's still there's just too much sour for me I mean there, there's not a lot of acid there's a little bit of acid and that astringency is kind of that that sourness seems to be really overpowering uh, the the apple part or the the artificial type apple part so I, I would say it's just not quite there I mean it's it's young two years old but white wines are not meant to be I mean, this was one is obviously not meant to be stored for five, ten years. It's not meant to be that way. Uh, it's meant to be drunk, drank, young, and this is probably when you're supposed to be drinking it. So, I don't know. I, I'm kind of disappointed in it. I mean, we'll drink it. I mean, bought the thing. We'll drink it. Probably even have some of it tonight. Um, speaking of, 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 of 
just reminded me. Last night we had a great linguine carbonara. Well, actually, we we it was the uh, instead of bacon you used salami. Uh, drank the last two wines that it reviewed. So the um, the Teruzzi and the Puthod or Puthod. <laughs> so I'm figuring out how to pronounce that one. And the um, Sea Cliff uh, Sauvignon Blanc. Had both of them. Um, like I said, with the food pairing, the the Teruzzi, the uh, the the Super Tuscan White, that I felt, in my opinion, paired pretty well with with the uh, linguine because it has a nice cream based sauce. Um, uh, Mom preferred the uh, Sea Cliff Sauvignon Blanc, and I had a little bit of that, and it was just it just it didn't seem like it really worked well for me. But the butter popcorn, the the creaminess, it worked a lot better. Um, I'd probably give it a. I'd probably keep it at the 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 score I gave it, um, but yeah, it definitely worked better. So for this one, uh, score, I don't know. I seem like I'm always really difficult on scores. I don't know. I keep putting things in eighty twos and eighty threes. I don't know. Pretty disappointed with it. I'm gonna go with an 80. It's not the worst thing I've had as far as wine. I've had wine that's a lot worse, um, but I, I wouldn't. I don't think I'd buy it again. I, I don't think I don't think we'd. I suggest to buy it again. At least I wouldn't want to drink it again. I mean, maybe if somebody else wanted to, that's fine. But I probably wouldn't buy it again. I mean, we'll finish it off obviously because you know why not? Uh, I mean, I'm not gonna sit there and pour all of it out. I'll pour that out though, because it's ten in the morning and I'm not gonna finish the wine. Um, matter of fact, I'll give the water a ninety-four. Um, anyway, so okay, so we got that. <coughs> so what else? Uh, Sommelier School. That was yesterday. Yesterday's episode uh, exclusive on the website. Uh, yes, if you're on Viddler, you can see it, so it's not like exclusive to the website. I wasn't able to set the, the privacy settings that way, but that's cool because you know what? I love Viddler. I've got a lot of friends on Viddler. I want to get more friends on Viddler. Uh, I don't have a link to Viddler, but if you um, uh, go to Viddler.com, do 1337, I need to put a link on Viddler so you guys can friend me up there. Um, so the, all the content is on there. The, I don't have a separate Sommelier School account. Everything's under, under uh, 1337 Wine. But Sommelier School is is exclusive to the website. So if you're watching this on the podcast, watch this on Blip TV, um, you, you have to go to the website. Uh, that's where the extra content is, even like the text of, of what I talk about. So go, hopefully a little bit more in depth. I mean, I just take my notes off of what I write. So um, so you can't get that on Viddler, but you can watch you can watch it. So yeah, get, get some more people to follow me. Follow me up on Twitter. Friend me up on Twitter, Facebook. Uh, if you have any questions, email me. You got the email link there. Do some comments, man. The, the first couple episodes got a couple great comments, except for that one episode. The the jerk was uh, commenting about the spit bucket, you know. But that's okay. You get those kind of people, whatever. Um, put some comments on there. The forums, nothing started yet, so hit those forums up. And of course, you know, I want to make this a revenue thing, so click some ads, buy some stuff. Um, yesterday got a, uh, a great um, uh, email. From uh, Gary, from uh, Gary V. There, uh, he sent a bulk, bulk email out to everybody, you know, thanking them. I replied back, and replied back, and replied back again. So it was a great little email conversation. Uh, just talking about, you know, how I'm uh, drinking and tasting lots of wine now. I got my own show, and uh, told him I'm crushing it here in San Antonio, and he just said keep crushing it. So that's cool, kind of a little pumped up thing, because you know he's he's my he's my bud or he's my hero, so to speak. Um, but let's do, let's do a couple more shout-outs because uh, maybe I should do some of that on, on a daily basis. I'm going to shout-out a couple people on Twitter uh, that have been really helping me out with uh, retweeting every time I post an episode. So i got Louis Sandoval. He's uh, Pandaran on Twitter. you got uh, Nan Palmero, uh, uh, Nan Palmero <laughs> on Twitter. And uh, uh, i got Vox Eterno. i got Davis. You know, they're all sitting there retweeting for me. Of course, you know, Mom's doing it too. Uh, so shout out to Pressman, um, but uh, shout out to all those people for helping me out. 
uh, retweeting stuff, trying to get me some more followers, some more eyeballs to the site. So yeah, just keep uh, keep coming back. We got more content, uh, fun stuff. And as always, if you have any questions, email me, tweet me, however you want to do it, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Um, that's going to be it for today. We'll see everybody again next time.